if i tell you containers versus virtual machines you may not be that much interested in the video but since i am telling you dockers versus virtual machines you are interested in this video why you are interested in dockers because that is something which is being used in place of containers or containerization nowadays okay welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist in this video i am going to explain you all the jargons i am going to make this very simple for you and i am going to explain you the key differences between dockers which sometimes you can think of as containers and virtual machines let's see the differences guys so guys before going into any details let me tell you in simple words what is the meaning of container and what is the meaning of a virtual machine okay so a container is basically an atomic self contained package of a software that includes everything it needs to run we will understand with an example in a moment okay but a virtual machine is a new virtual computer on top of a host machine let me give you one simple example suppose you build a machine learning model okay and the name of your main prediction file is aman.py fine this aman.py for running okay for running aman.py it needs to import some of the libraries for example one library can be beautiful so for some kind of web scraping it is doing so this is needed okay similarly it may need just an example pandas and it may need some other packages fine these are the packages apart from these packages this file for prediction it also runs a configuration file what kind of configuration file for example you can think of i am doing a category mapping of indian cities for example delhi noida gurgaon all these cities i am mapping and i am calling this north indian cities in training the model okay so in prediction this mapping file should be present okay so this is one kind of supporting file or configuration file okay this is another example third example can be i have some database connection string that needs to be present in order to run this aman.py file so that is again one level of db connection or configuration now whatever i explained you all these are different different components of the code along with the original python file that is needed to do the prediction okay so if i have to do manually all these process then i have to ensure that okay aman.py is present the packages are present the mapping files are present the db connection string and db connection my configuration is present and apart from this whatever else we need everything is present then only my code can run successfully right so here i am saying what is a container a container is an atomic self contained package of a software that includes everything it needs to run now imagine a scenario where you can keep all these things in a box okay this box is sometimes referred as container mostly it is referred as container all these things you pack inside a box okay and you say to someone hey this is my box you take this box it has everything that you need to run the code now go and run the code anywhere you want anywhere means any environment for example you build this code in uat environment you want to run this code in prod environment so what you are saying to someone boss take my container run in whatever environment you want to run it will run without any issues this entire process of packaging these things inside a box or container is called containerization okay and what helps you to do the containerization is something known as a very very famous utility that is known as docker okay so you can think it's like sometimes people will tell you hey create a docker image of this or dockerize this okay it is very similar to somebody telling you go and search something on internet but people will tell you hey google it are you getting the difference i can tell you go and search this on internet and i can also tell you hey google it similarly i can tell you go and containerize your code or i can tell you 
docker it because docker is such a famous tool in this space now you understood what is containers and what is dockers okay let me give you a brief of what is a virtual machine okay so a virtual machine is a virtual computer on top of your host machine now suppose guys this is my host computer okay which is having 128 gb of ram okay i can very well create virtual machine 1 okay virtual machine 2 and virtual machine 3 on top of my 128 gb host machine where i can allocate some amount of 32 gb here ram 32 gb here ram and some some ram here let's say 32 gb here also so what i am doing i am creating three virtual computers three virtual computers on top of my original host machine on these virtual computers i can do whatever i want for example i can run a separate process i can install some other softwares the same python.py example i gave you i take python.py aman.py file all these packages all these dependencies on one of these vms and i can run that okay so that is perfectly doable i can do that not a problem but what is the difference between running that on a virtual machine and running that using containers or docker images that's what i will try to make you understand in this video let's try to understand some more differences before that if you want to try out the virtual machine there is a video on unfold data science the link is here i will give in description as well go there install a virtual machine and do some hands-on practice that will make your virtual machine concept very very simple okay containers definitely i will come with more videos on containers first let's try to understand the differences so on the left hand side i will say containers on the right hand side i will say vms which stands for virtual machines okay so first thing you have to understand guys at what level the abstraction is given abstraction means virtual machines are separate from each other at what level at hardware level okay hardware level i give you example of one virtual machine having 32 gb other virtual machine having another 32 gb from this 128 gb quota okay so vm1 is separate from vm2 at hardware level so it will share the system resources but the abstraction is at the hardware level okay here in containers when you run suppose this is your container one and this is your container you know another container let's say aman.py is here kumar.py is another separate uh, separate machine learning model altogether with separate dependencies that can go in container 2 okay so container 1 container 2 you can run on the same host machine but the abstraction of these two containers will not be at hardware level rather it will be at application level application level of abstraction are you getting the difference guys let me try to tell you with a simple demo uh, diagram here this is your host os host os means your own computer you can think of this is your host os okay when you create virtual machines then the separation will happen at your hardware level this is your hardware okay and when you create your containers there will be a docker installation sitting here to keep it very simple and this docker will allow you to run all your containers for example c1 c2 c3 on the same host os without any level of hardware you know distribution or hardware separation so it can run as a separate separate container images okay i should not say container images separate separate containers there is a difference between image and container i will tell that later okay so first difference is application level abstraction and hardware level abstraction what is the separate uh, second difference the second difference is the containers will be small in size why it will be small in size because the way it is made is it will be lightweight and it will have all the packages dependencies etc and it can be very easily portable so it's small in size on the other hand when you are creating a virtual machine you have to create some large amount of uh, ram you have to allocate and system resources you have to allocate so it will be large in size okay that is the second difference third difference is it will be faster your containers will be faster why it will be faster 
because obviously there is only one host OS underlying, right? All these can be treated as different, different processes on the virtual machines. There are different, different physically, you can think virtual machines. It is not looking physical, but in one way we can think it's, it's separate, separate computers. Okay. So it is typically slower to boot. Also, if you want to boot your virtual machine, it will be a little slower. These are some of the high level differences how containers are uh, different than your, your virtual machine. Let me see my notes again. So as I told you here, it will be hard. Sorry, here it will be soft division because we are not dividing the hardware. So soft division and here the division will be hard. Okay, hard division. Containers, you can create infinite number of containers, infinite number of containers, okay infinite number you can create because you are not dividing the system resources obviously if you if you try to run million containers on a on a small host os then there will be a problems but creation you can do many here since you are allocating system resources you can have limited number of virtual machine on one host os okay these are some of the basic differences between when you run a container on a host os when you run a virtual machine on a host os okay now i want to I want to give you clarity on some of the jargons, industry jargons, so that you are not confused on what is this, okay? So here I told you to make you understand this box is your container, okay? But there is a slight difference that you have to understand here. For example, suppose this is your Python file. This is your packages that you need. This is your configs that you need. This is your DB connections that you need. All these things, what you do, you pack it together, okay? And then this, this packaging, right? This packaging is called container image, okay? This packaging is called container image. Most of the time you will use Docker for this purpose. Hence, you can, you can understand it is a Docker image, okay? So you take this particular image, okay? This image and you take this image and run on host server. This is your host machine. So here you want to run. Once you are running this, then we say that what we say container is running. You understand the difference between image and container? Image is nothing but a non-changeable or non-editable version, non-editable package of your code and dependencies and everything. When you run that on a host machine, this is called container is running, okay? Understand the difference. Somebody tells you image, you should understand this is a packed version of what should run. Somebody said you, this is a container means on host machine, some image is running. That is the difference, okay? So I hope you understand the difference between what is container, what is virtual machine and how dockers come into picture. Now, if I get many comments from you guys, I am going to show you a live demo of how to do a containerization of your Python code and how to run it using a Docker image. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. And please post all your doubts and I will come up with containerization and Dockerization of your Python file if you want me to comment. Okay. See you all in the next video, guys. Wherever you are, stay safe and take care.